Hello! This tutorial will take a look at some of the features of Office 365 People. People functions very much like the contacts portion of Outlook. To access People, click on the People tile from the Office 365 Launch section. Let's take a look at some of the current features of Office 365 People. Up in the top left hand corner, you're able to search for contacts by their name. You have the option of clicking on the top icon that shows the contact information and you can see business information such as phone number, job title, and profile and email address. You also have the option to send the contact an email, um, schedule an event with that person, or send an instant message if the um, instant message feature has been turned on in that person's profile. Or you can add them directly to your contacts as well. In my directory, you have the option of looking at all the distribution lists. These are lists that are set up by James City County um, and they cannot be altered. Uh, you also can look at staff address list and this will give you a list of all the staff members that are currently in James City County school system. Uh, the other parts of the directory are not being supported at this time nor are, is the group function at this time. Also under my contacts area, you have a list to your contacts that you've added. You can also click to click, connect to social networks. The only network that is initialized currently is LinkedIn and you are able to import your contacts. I'll show you that in a different area. Um, also you can click on new feature and choose to add a new contact, a contact list, which is your own personal distribution. Uh, and groups are not being su supported. To add a new contact, click on the new contact and add in the person's information, first name, last name. You can add in email information, phone number, um, any kind of information that you feel appropriate. Um, and then save or hit cancel. Um, if you wish to could start a new contact list, um, you'll give the list a name, for example, if you want to make a distribution of all science teachers in your building and then you could search here to find members they will populate from the district and then you will add them and you can also make notes and then save your list or cancel you also can have your your contact list uh, show up by last name by first name. You can display the individual people or your different lists that you created first and you can sort them also by first name or last name. You can do this by the drop down arrow next to my contacts. Okay. Under the manage, manage contacts you can connect again to social networks. Uh, the only one being supported now is LinkedIn or you can import your contacts from a different email address if you wish. Uh, you can also edit the contact from here, whichever contact you have selected. You can click on edit and make changes to that person's contact information. You can delete a contact, be very careful. Whatever contact person listed uh, is highlighted, that information will be deleted. You can add a contact to favorites. Adding it to a favorites, your contact will appear at the top of the contacts list. You can also remove them as well. Here I can add a contact to any contact list that I have already created, such as a new teacher list or a department list. And links is not being supported at this time. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you very much.